Good. Picking it up even more. So 15 seconds at a more moderate jog. And then you're going to take it up to a run for 15 seconds. And we'll join. <laughs> Get five more seconds. And then you're gonna bring your hands in front and knees to hands. Good, nice deep breaths. Keep going. Five more seconds. And then you're gonna take it behind you, kicking the bum. Good, keep breathing. How those legs feeling? <laughs> Good. <laughs> Good, five more seconds. And bring it down through a jog. And into a nice walk. Good, you got 30 seconds to rest. Grab a sip of water if you need. Keep moving though, so we don't want to just stop. We don't want that heart rate to drop. We want to keep it up. Good. All right. We're going to go into some jump squats. So you're going to touch the ground and then you're going to reach up and jump up to the sky. Off you go. Up and down, up and down, up. He's going quite fast. You can go slower. He's also hitting the ceiling. <laughs> So if you're finding that the pace of that was going at too fast for you, feel free to slow down slightly. The idea is not keeping up with him, it's to do as many as you can do in the minutes that I'm giving you to do this. <laughs> so he might regret having started and doing it too fast. Keep down. Keep down, <laughs> keep going, good. Down, as you go down, try not to, to keep the bum up. Think about bending through the legs to, to get down. You've got 20 more seconds. Keep going. Good. If you have a roof that's touchable, then see if you can try and touch it. <laughs> Good. Five more seconds. Keep breathing. Use those legs. Drop that thumb. Connect in the tummy. And gently walk it out to rest. Good. Very nice. Shake the legs if you need to. Just roll the shoulders. Breathing. <laughs> All right. You got another 30, sec uh, 30 seconds, 15 seconds to rest. Nice deep breaths in through the nose if you can and out through the mouth just to help re regulate your breathing. And then you're going to start a gentle jog. Good. Very nice. Gentle jog. Again, if you're finding the pace too fast, slow it down. Um, and if you're finding it too slow, speed it up. Okay, so um, there's no set number of what we're doing. Uh, it's really about how many you can comfortably do within the time, time frame given. So between 15 and 30 seconds for each, each exercise, and then a minute for the ones that are coming up now. All right. All right, deep breaths in and out. You got another 15 seconds of just moving. And then we're gonna go into a side touch, which is like a star jump. So I'll just show you. Your knees are gonna be bent and you're gonna touch one leg out to the side. Keep your weight on the one leg and the arms move. Off we go, we go for one, two. So same leg. And we're gonna change after 30 seconds. Good, out and in. Really let those arms swing. That's where the cardio part's gonna come in, is getting those arms moving. Five, good, three. And change to the other side, and open, and open, open, and open, open. <laughs> Coordination, <laughs> good. If your arms are getting very tired, you can keep them off to the side and you can just tap the foot. 
or you can just do one arm. One arm. Good, and open, keep that supporting leg nice and bent. Good, four, three, two, and one, and walking on the spot, rolling out the arms. Good, you can grab another small sip of water if you want. Don't have too much water because you'll get a, a stitch and we don't want that. Deep breaths in and out. Good. And we're going to take it into a gentle jog. Just a gentle jog. Or a march through the feet, whichever is more comfortable for you. Good. We're going to just gently jog for 30 seconds and then we're going to ramp it up. Like how I'm the one drinking all the water. <laughs> okay. We're going to go a little bit faster. Keep those arms moving. Good. We got another 15 seconds. And then we're going to move on to a donkey kick which is a step and you're going to pull your leg behind you to kick your bum and your arms are reaching and pulling. So we got to go in five, four, three, two, and one. We're going to down and pull and pull and pull, reach and pull. Good. We're going to do this for a minute and pull down and pull. Good. So I'm going to show you from the side. You can see my knee is staying behind me. It's not coming forward. And I'm really trying to kick my bum. Yeah, the arms are pulling. And pull, pull. Good, keep going. Keep that tummy connected so you're not feeling that back. Very nice, 20 more seconds. We go, and go. Keep those shoulders down, necks nice and long, 15. And good, 10, almost there. Whew. Two, and one, and slowly walk it out. Good, deep breaths in and out, keep moving. Grab a sip of water if you need. Breathing in deeply through the nose. And out through the mouth. Good, and again, in through the nose. And out through the mouth. Good, keep going in through the nose. And out through the mouth. Very nice, 20 more seconds to recover. And then we're going to go into what's called, uh, well, I like to call a frog plank. So you're going to start from standing. You're going to go down into a frog position. Keep walking. You're going to jump your legs out, bring them in, and come up to standing. So slightly wider legs, slight turn out. And off you go. We go down. Shoot it out. Bring it back. And up. Good. Down. Shoot it out. Bring it back. And up, keep going. If you struggle to get into that plank position, you find this just too uncomfortable, you're gonna go into your down and jump. And down and jump. So you're either following me, jump. You don't even have to jump, you can just reach the arms. Or you're following David. Down and up, down. And up, we've got 20 more seconds. Down and up, good. Down, keep breathing. Really connect into the bum. Press the ground away from you if you're going into your plank. Five more seconds. Down, two. And your last one. <laughs> and gently march it out, good.